The story of their love was bright and touching, but very short. Beautiful, young, and talented Sergei Grinkov and Ekaterina Gordiva were the real stars of figure skating in the 90s. They managed to become Olympic champions twice, three times European champions, and four times world champions in pair figure skating. Three years before the tragedy, Sergei and Ekaterina got married and had a girl named Daria. But in the moment, everything changed. Right on the ice, Sergei's heart stopped, leaving her wife and daughter behind all alone. How did Ekaterina cope with the loss of her husband, and how has her life changed since then? What does his daughter look like today, and what she is doing now? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. They met when they were children, with Ekaterina being 11 and Sergei being 15, when they began skating in pairs. In their everyday lives, not just on the ice, Ekaterina remembered that Sergei did not pay much attention to her, seeing her as more of a younger sister. Sergei was known to pay attention to other figure skating girls and at one point had danced with a German figure skater, causing Ekaterina to feel upset, but she never expressed her feelings to him as they were not in a relationship and she did not feel that he belonged to her. For years, Ekaterina looked up to him as an adult and a cool guy, and her feelings for him gradually grew. Sometimes, after a performance, Sergei would hug her but only when no one was watching. On a few occasions, they would go to the cinema together and hold hands during the movie. They would hold hands all the time while on the ice, but it felt different at the cinema. Ekaterina remembered the moment when her heart was pounding wildly as Sergei reached out and took her hand for the first time and then suddenly asked, Why don't we kiss? It was as if he was asking for her permission. He gently kissed her on the lips and then again, but this time for a longer duration. The romance between Kata and Sergei flared up in 1989 when Kata was 18 and Sergei was 22 years old. That year, the World Figure Skating Championships were held in Paris, and everything was very romantic, remembered Kata. Even then, deeply in love with Sergei, Kata couldn't believe that he had chosen her. Why me? Why am I so lucky? I am so small and timid. Sergei could choose some long-legged beauty. Why me? The skaters got married in 1991. The couple signed a contract with an American company to participate in ice shows in America and Canada, and soon Kata became pregnant. But she didn't talk about it to Sergi. She told him later, I am pregnant. He said, Why didn't you tell me before? He was so excited, didn't let her out of his arms, and continued to kiss her. Why didn't you tell me, Kata? Soon their daughter Daria was born. These were wonderful years, the young couple had everything. All that time, figure skating was very popular, many thousands of halls were crowded. Sergei Grinkov and Yukaterina Gardeva moved to America in the summer of 1994. One of the skating rinks was named after them. The skaters were happy. They lived in a big house in Samsbury, raised a daughter, could train at any time in exchange for participating in one ice show once a year. While in Russia in the early 90s, the condition of the training facilities was poor and many coaches moved to the USA. But soon after the move, tragedy struck. Ekaterina remembers this day with bitterness. In November of 1995, they trained as usual. In the summer of that year, Sergei complained of back pain, which still bothered him. They were on the ice practicing an element, and suddenly he bent forward. Something bad happened. She thought it must be his back again, but then he slowly laid down on the ice, and someone called 9 to 1 1. Everything happened very quickly. They took him away, they didn't let her look at him lying on the ice. They just kept her at the hospital. They were told to wait, and she doesn't remember how many hours it was. For just an hour or 30 minutes, the doctors just came out and said they couldn't save him. That was all. And then they let her sit with him in the room for a while. Everything was very fast. The next few days or weeks, she doesn't remember well. She was completely lost. She was cold and crying all the time, having nightmares and wouldn't wake up. 
Sergei was only 28 years old, and Ekaterina was 24. The death of the young skater came as a shock to everyone. The mom and sister of Sergei bitterly experienced the loss, and the Moscow three-room apartment, where the famous figure skater lived, even years after his death. The mother did not change anything. Sergei did his homework at this desk, pumped his muscles with his dumbbells, and slept on this bed. No one could not believe in Sergei's death. Thousands of Russians came to say goodbye to the skater. He was buried in Moscow at the Vagankovsky Cemetery. Kata tried to hold on. Then it seemed to her that everything is not real. She couldn't believe it had happened to her. She raised her eyes to the sky as if addressing the soul of her beloved Sergei. She had a feeling of guilt in front of Sergei's mother and her own daughter for the death of her husband. There was a feeling of wild emptiness that was slowly killing her. Every morning, she would think that she would like to fall asleep and never wake up again. We were young and in love, and suddenly he died. There is only a memory that lives in my soul and in the daughter Daria. As they used to say about Sergei and me when we skated, our hearts beat as one and so it was. In fact, when his heart stopped mine was broken forever. After a while, Ekaterina found a way to go on with her life. Without her beloved Sergei, she dedicated her first performance without him, on the show, to her deceased husband. She prepared a program for composition celebration of life, in the end of which she could not restrain herself and burst into tears. Her little daughter ran out to console her mommy. Sergei's mother, Anna Philip, was present in the performance. She tightly held Kata and cried. Their entire 15,000 aliens cried with them. Five years after the death of Sergei, Ekaterina realized that she needed to continue to live on. She met Olympic champion Ilya Kolik. In 2002, Kardeva and Kolik had a daughter Lisa. But despite the long marriage, the couple broke up in 2016. Sergei's daughter Daria has grown up now. She's 28 years old and she has become an exact copy of her father, Daria, like her parents continues to figure skate. There were periods in her life when the girl quit sports, but after a while she got back on skates. She currently resides in Los Angeles. Her mother said, I think Sergei would be proud of his daughter, and I'm glad to see the part of Sergei in her. She is very similar to him. She has a dad's smile and looking at her. I understand that he is here with us. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.